Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're in the OC this evening. It's Ducks country as we get ready to drop the puck here for EA Sports. It's about to go down. The Ducks start with possession as we are now underway. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by the Nears. Oh, a violent collision in the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. And he can't hang on after that hit. Up along the wing. Here's a shot. Stop some of the glove. The Ducks win the defensive zone face-off. Keeps a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Johns. Sends the pass over. And he gets in front of that. Puck grab by McCann. The card's in it tonight. And with that early save, you can expect that his confidence will certainly be higher than the last game, James. That was a tough game coming off that blowout. And that goes off course off a body. And Ross got it along the boards. Takes the feed. Goes right to the crease. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. The Ducks have it behind the cage. And he comes up big again. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. He scores! The fans are blaring. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in your skating practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution and it winds up as a goal. The Ducks get on the board here first. I'm not surprised, Cheryl. This team has been buzzing already. Oh, they've been buzzing, but most importantly, James, they've been dialed in. You can see it in their intensity right from the puck drop and their first few strides all over the ice. They've been incredible to start this game. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Trying an empty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Seattle's playing it through center. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Moves into the slot. He scores! Oh, wow, there might have been some Velcro on that stick. I would say so. It's a puck on the string and it evades the defenders, and then he's able to get a shot through the goaltender and finish it off. Puck handling skills, in particular when he's in tight spaces. He just knows how to move his opponent out of position. And he does it there, and he finds the back of the net. Anaheim's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. The Ducks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Brink. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. On the tip. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest. Stop! dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. Nice 
job tying up his opponent. Anaheim's got possession at center. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Dumps it in. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Dumps it in. And he takes the feed. The card's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's gonna get some much needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Dishes it off with the stop. They fight for it along the boards. Right stick handling in his own zone. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come. Gets the puck in deep. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And it's a quick pass to Schwartz. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Ducks have it now. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Seattle's got it from behind the net. Feeds it on over to Schwartz. Seattle's gained the line and into the zone. Sends it in on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Johns. Nice zone entry on the left side. Slides it quickly to Montour. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Takes a shot. And there's the save. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Bufflin's got the puck through the neutral zone. Shot! Great close save by Decor! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Anaheim's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. The Ducks take possession here inside the offensive zone. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Feeds the puck across to Bjorkstrand. Sends the pass in front. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The Ducks have done a great job moving their feet tonight, and they lead here midway through the first. Seattle's won the draw. Rocked him! Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Along the half wall with the puck. Rips it. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Here in the back half of this period, the Ducks are in cruise control, leading it 3 0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, he'll feel that one. The Ducks players have certainly come with a message tonight, and that is attack the net. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and lead here big time. Nearing the end of period number one. Plays it ahead, but he's under attack. And he coughs it up with the pass. Takes the save. Pinned up along the boards. Seattle's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Moves it to the middle. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Passes over to Everly. Feeds it over. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Through center. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Pumps the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Montour. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Ducks are getting called for boarding on the play.
penalty kill for this team tonight, guys. And we know their unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league. But this team's confidence can sometimes overpower the skill that they show. So let's see what they can get going here right now. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. And he takes the feed. Shuts him down. He's known for his incredible quickness, James, but when he gets a step on you, he is all but gone. If he reads there's some ice and he can drive the net, he's going to take it. This time, the goaltender makes the save and denies him. Moves it to Johns. The Ducks play it along the wing. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by DeCord. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. And they continue to apply pressure here. Moves it quickly over to Gore. And he slides it quickly to Beneers. Anaheim's penalty killers get a hold of it. Puck cleared from the defensive end. For the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Shot! And that caroms off a of body in the lane. Feeds it. Look at this, two on one. Takes a shot. Another face-off looming here on this power play. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. From the right side and up the middle. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Seattle's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. A chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Rossi's ready for the try as they continue to be shorthanded here. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Can't hang on after that hit. Oh, what a save by the board! Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as it flashes the glove and makes the save. Pierce has had the face-off dodge and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. Rossi's won the draw there on the attack. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Quick feed to Gore. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Well, the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game, and we'll be back with more now. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Ducks have a comfortable lead, and they've earned it, James. I mean, they've held the majority of possession times, and they've found something to do with it. They just haven't hung out on the outside. They've known exactly when to attack. Rocks him. He got all of that one. Power forwards drive lanes, and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed.
on cruise control, or at least they should be, but they're still going full throttle, it looks like, out there. And sometimes when you get a huge lead like this, you can get a little cute with the puck and start making careless mistakes. Not happening. They've been intense, they've been crisp, and they've been executing. With possession along the wall. Quick pass across to Tippett. And the puck skips off the glove. The Korg's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of them as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Well, you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take the penalty because you're chasing the game, and you want to get back into it. But this one, this one's a tough one to take. period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. The Ducks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Anaheim's on the attack. Sends the pass down low. Taken along the wall by Brink. All quick work with this to score! So they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal! While using the advantage of having extra ice available to them, James, that's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. Power play strikes, James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Slides it across! Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Quick feed down low. Gives some nothing in front. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Ducks continue to lead big here in this second period. Richards wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Big time stop. And that shot dies in traffic. Grabbed along the board by Schwartz. Takes the pass. They score! And it's back to back tallies. Yeah, they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here. Lugging the puck. 
Here's a short pass to Tippett. What a steal in his own end. Receives the pass. Seattle's had a tough time finding any momentum in this game. They're beaten in all areas of the ice, and you certainly don't want to look at the analytics in this one. The only good part, they have some time left to claw their way back in. Quick shot! Cuts him away! From right out of midair, he bats it down. From the point, looks to make something happen. From one point man to another. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Champions Bobblehead Night has been a huge hit. The crowds were lined up outside the doors waiting to get in here to make sure they got theirs. These look good. I think this has been a big thumbs up by pretty much every fan that I've talked to so far this evening. And now it's grabbed by Faber. The Colts gonna hang on for a whistle. Dominated right from the start. Their offense clipping on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. The Ducks win the faceoff. And a strong physical collision on the play. Quick pass to Jones. Here's a shot. Score! Sam Bacon double pitches for the rookie here on the season. Well, that's going to feel good, James. No question about it. Anytime you can get a marker, let alone 10, you feel like you've contributed, and there's more room to go. of this one-timer, James. It's good movement, and then, of course, the one-timer, the weight transfer, and the great timing that's able to finish it off. Well, the youngster certainly showing that he fits in in the league. That's 10 goals now. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at positive production when you look at his numbers, James. I mean, coming into a league as a rookie, there's so many nuances and ways you've got to find a way to integrate yourself into the game, and he's doing a fantastic job. Moves it to Jones. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Faber. Huge save on the play! Oh my goodness, wow! Absolutely incredible that he could extend himself like that, James, and be able to get onto that puck. Incredible save. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Crosses the puck loose. And now he moves it quickly to champion. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Backhander in front. Nice save from point blank range. And he slides the puck into power. How many bodies in the way? They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Shot! Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Veneers gets a nice opportunity on net in his first game back after rehabbing his injury, James. That's got to feel good. Powers carrying it ahead. The Ducks take it along the wall. Great defensive stick work on the play. And that goes off a player in front. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Slides it diagonally to Schwartz. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. A little bump in the route. Scores! And there is a much needed counter punch from the other end. Well, they close the gap, but the next shift is the most important. The ability to have energy and try and get that puck and get another one on the board. Got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off when you get a goal. You can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Into the corner of the attack. Oh! Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Moves behind the net. Back to the point it goes. Here's a shot. Taken by Tippett. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick. Seattle's across the blue line. Takes it to the net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Gets it over to Niskanen. And he dodges the poke check there. Grubauer. He's got it behind the cage. Picked up along the boards by Bjorkstrand. Angles it over to Cartier. 
tries to get the puck to right. Nice pit check. Dished on over to Nash. Passes it over. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Quick feed to Stevenson. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. They've got a two on one. In on the attack. Sets the goal. Whoa, what a save. Scooped up along the wall by Gordon. Sends it down low. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his club on that one. This crowd tonight, I mean, every night here, they are just on fire with a better sellout. They are on fire. James, I like the way you said that. I love Pitch because why everyone in here is high pitch because they're winning and they're being successful. You can see it by the number of jerseys that have been bought and they're being worn, and that's when you know that they're cheering on their star players. Excellent stick work on the play. Slides the puck over to Champion. The Ducks played along the boards. Here's a shot and a great save. Schwartz moves the puck. They've got some momentum here. Sends it over. And he takes a shot. Shuts him down. Slides it up front. Maintains control of the puck. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Things. Seattle's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop by Grubauer. The Ducks are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Made the stop on that play. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Slides it back to the blue line. And that goes wide. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. Tolvin has got it against the boards. Tries to feed it over to Alexia. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. And now he tries to get it across to Silverberg. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Looks to set up at the point now. Quick feed down low. And that goes off. The glove play continues here. Trying to get back on the attack now. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. A little crash and a ball and forces the turnover. They score! So that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hat. Coaches are always harping on pass execution well this is a clear example when the pass is crisp and it's on the tape it's on the money it finds the back of the net The Ducks continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. And it's a quick pass to Tippett. Fires it on net. Pumped away. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. You can certainly tell that the 
goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Anaheim's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Richards wins the faceoff. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. And that caroms off of... Scores! That's in the back of the net. I think he knocked it in there, Cheryl. Oh, that is such a deflating goal and a real tough one for him to take. I think he lost sight of it, didn't know where it was, and as he turned around, he knocked it himself. Oh, that's a tough one to take. And off the draw center, they take control of the puck. Hooked away in the neutral zone. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Darlene. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Beneers. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Dishes it off. And that's kicked out from the scrum. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Ducks have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie up and come up. Oh, what a chance here! Here's a shot! Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. The Ducks have looked sharp tonight. Lots of pucks on net and a lot of goals as a result. Rossi's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Here's a chance to the middle, and that's intercepted. And he slides it quickly to Cartier. Intercepts the pass at center. Puck exits the zone. And he takes the dish. Anaheim's got the puck. Takes the feed. Dishes it to right. Seattle's through center and now in the offensive end. Puck grab by Cartier. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. And that's deflected off someone in front. There's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. Loose puck battle along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Nash. Quick pass to Rossi. Levels him into the wall. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Handles the pass. Works it across to Johns. Picked off by Larson. Quick pass to Gore. Pucks it away in his own end. Bufflin's got the puck in his own zone. Slides the pass over to Champion. Centering pass! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Drills him. Moves it to Larson. Seattle's looking to break out. Inside the offensive zone. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Feeds it over. Oh, no. Luck as it goes off the outside of the post. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Anaheim's got it behind the net. Now a quick pass to Darlene. And he slides it quickly to champion. up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Richards has won the faceoff. Rides up, lets it go, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. And now he angles it across to Beneers. Centering pass, and he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Denies him with the save. And he elects to play the puck. Gives him a with that hit. Puck picked up by Mahura. 
Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Four gets across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Battling for it along the boards. Handles the puck. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Ducks gain possession. Moves it on over to Tippett. Puts it on net. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And now he moves it quickly to Cartier. And it's a quick pass to Everly. Slides the puck over. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Wow. And he scores! Well, I'm surprised the goaltender didn't flinch on this one. I know that if I was getting out on the coverage, I'd be flamingoing all night long, James, because he absolutely tagged this one. He had time, he had space, and he got all of it. The Kraken have got one back here in the third, but they need a lot more. Yeah, a lot more, James. I'll need to have quick shifts. You know this is all about resetting and finding ways to end the game with good habits. Prepare yourself for the next one. Quick feed to right. On the attack along the boards. And too much traffic and foot blocks that one. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Trying to shake loose. along the wall by Montour. And he slides it quickly to Stevenson. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Oh, they do it again! What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledge what they just saw tonight. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here in this one. And you can chop up another victory for a team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, they've got a winning streak going, and anytime you have something like that going, you just feel like you're going to win when you step onto the ice and you're confident, you've got swagger, and everything seems to be clicking. You've got a lot, and you've got to really embrace when it feels like that. Hope you had as much fun as we did bringing you the action here from all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Peace.